Deep in the Japanese countryside, where wheat sways under the summer breeze and rivers sing with their timeless melodies, lived a Zen monk named Soshin. Soshin possessed a deep wisdom and inner peace, attracting those seeking enlightenment on life's twisted paths. One day, an ambitious young man named Kaito arrived at Soshin's monastery. Kaito's heart was heavy with thoughts and fears, desiring to learn how to empty his mind and find peace. He sought Soshin's guidance, hoping to achieve Zen enlightenment. Soshin greeted Kato with a calm smile and eyes brimming with serenity. Kato said, his voice filled with longing and determination. I want to learn how to empty my mind and live in peace. Soshin simply offered, Come, drink tea with me. The two sat at a small table, where Soshin began pouring tea into Kaido's cup. He poured and poured until the cup overflowed, and the tea continued to spill onto the table. Kaido exclaimed, Stop! Why do you keep pouring? The cup is already full. It cannot hold anymore. Soshin smiled and put the kettle aside, saying, Like this cup, you are full of your thoughts, opinions, and fears. If you wish to understand Zen, you must first empty your mind. As Kaito's journey towards enlightenment continued, there came a day when Soshin decided to teach Kaito a new lesson, one that would deepen his understanding of Zen and test his ability to see the world from a new perspective. One morning, Soshin invited Kaito to walk with him in the monastery's surrounding garden, where trees danced with the breeze and flowers generously spread their fragrance. They stopped in front of a large tree, and Soshin asked Kaito, Can you lift this tree and carry it on your shoulders? Of course not. This tree is huge, and its roots run deep into the earth. Soshin smiled and said, Thus are the thoughts and emotions you carry in your mind. When you allow them to grow and root, they become heavy and impossible to carry. But if you learn to let them come and go, like the breeze passing through the tree's leaves, you will find lightness and freedom in your life. Kaito took this lesson to heart, beginning to practice meditation with a clearer intention. Observing his thoughts and emotions without clinging to them or allowing them to control his mental state. He learned to be like the tree, standing tall yet flexible, able to bend with the winds without breaking. Later, while meditating by a river near the monastery, Soshin shared another wisdom with Kaito. He told him, Like this river, life is in constant change. You can choose to swim against the current, leading to exhaustion and frustration, or allow yourself to flow with the current, learning to harmonize with the present moment. Over time, Kaito began to see the change within himself, Moments of silence became appointments with the self, nature a friend, and life a lesson worth learning. Ultimately, Kaido realized that the emptiness he sought to fill was but a mirror reflecting the simple truth that peace comes from within. Thus, beside the river that witnessed their meditations and under the shade of the tree representing the burden of thoughts, Kaito found the peace he had long sought. In this place, where nature and wisdom meet, Kaito closed an important chapter in his life, contemplating the lessons that would guide him in every forthcoming step, knowing that true peace stems from an open heart and an empty mind. As we conclude our journey through the Zen story of Kaito and Soshin, we're reminded of three profound lessons that extend far beyond the borders of an old Japanese monastery. First, like the overflowing teacup, we must learn to empty our minds of preconceptions and fears to truly absorb the wisdom around us. Second, the lesson of the majestic tree teaches us that holding onto heavy thoughts and emotions only roots us in place. By letting them go, we embrace the lightness of being. And finally, the river's flow reminds us to move with the currents of life, not against them, finding peace in the harmony of the present moment. These lessons, while simple in narrative, carry the depth of oceans in their meaning. As we navigate the complexities of our lives, let these teachings be a guide, a light, and a reminder of the peace that comes from within. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found solace in these teachings, share this story with others who might be searching for the same peace and understanding. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tales of wisdom and introspection. Until next time, may your mind be as open as the sky and your life flow as effortlessly as the river.